totally forgot to record this whole thing. Wow. Okay. 5x minus 10. Yes, that's it. And then I'm going to subtract 3x. And I'm going to add 10. So what do we get? 22 equals 2x. Divide by 2. And x equals 11. Um, the only thing with solving for these is I have to check my answer to make sure my answer doesn't make my denominator zero. So I have to plug my answers back into my original equation, the original equation, to make sure it doesn't make my denominator zero. So if I plug 11 to 11 minus 2, that doesn't equal zero, right? And 11 plus 4 doesn't equal zero. So I'm okay. My answer's fine. Okay, when it, when it equals zero, we'll talk about it. Can I have a zero in my denominator of a fraction? Can there be a zero in the denominator? No. Right, it's, I can have a zero in the top, I just can't have a zero in the bottom. So if my answer gives me a zero in my bottom, then it's a no solution, okay? So let's do the next one going to do the same thing. I'm going to cross multiply. So I've got x times x plus 1 equals 6 times x minus 1. And I distribute x squared plus x equals 6x minus 6. Now I have x squared, so I'm going to bring everything to the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to get x squared minus 6, oh, no, minus 5x, minus 5x, right? x minus 6 is 5x. So I've got a quadratic. I'm going to see if I can factor that. Um, are there two numbers that multiply to be 6 and add to be negative 5? Negative 2 and negative 3. So I've got x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals 0. Have two things multiplied together that equal 0, so one of them has to equal 0. Or x minus 3 equals 0. So x is going to equal 2 or 3. And I'm going to check both answers to make sure it doesn't make the denominator 0. And neither one of those makes the denominator 0. So my answer is two or three. I can have two or more answers. I can have more than one answer. Questions? Home? Oh, I don't know why I don't have your pictures up. I'm so sorry. Even though none of you have your cameras on. Okay, I want you guys to go ahead and try this. So you're going to do A and B. Go ahead. Okay. So we get x squared minus 3x minus x3 equals 2x minus 6. Add 6, subtract 2x, 6, and I'm going to get x squared minus 5, minus 3, 4, 5, 6x plus 9 equals 0. So um, when I'm factoring this, I need two numbers that multiply to be 9 and add to be negative 6, which is negative 3 and negative 3. So this multiplies to be x minus 3 times x minus 3 equals 0. So x is going to only equal positive 3. Does that make sense, Jess? Okay. And then if I take that 3, if I take my answer and I plug it back in to my denominator, guess what I get? I get 0 because 3 minus 3 is 0. So my answer is actually no solution. 
because the answer I got for x gives me a, a zero in my denominator. So there's no solution. Okay? Nice job. This one right here? Yeah, to go into the next one. I got different numbers for this. For this one right here? No, above it. This one? Yeah. Okay, so I got the these numbers from here, from this side. And I just subtracted. I just brought everything that was on this side of my um, equal sign. And I brought it to the other side. So on this side, right, I distributed this, right? I got 2x minus 6. And then I added 2x, right? And I subtract added six. I sub sorry, I subtracted 2x and I added 6. Okay. Are you okay with that? That's where I got those numbers from. I think I'm not. Okay. Just want to make sure you know where I'm getting my numbers from. Okay. All right. So on B, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cross multiply. And I'm going to get um, 4t times 7 equals 5 times 5t minus 2, which gives me 28t, which equals 25t minus 10. So I'm going to subtract 25t from both sides. And I'm going to get 3t equals negative 10. Divide by 3. And t is going to equal negative 10 thirds. That does not make my denominator zero, so I'm good to go. So that's my answer. Questions? Are we okay with that? Awesome. Okay, now we're going to move on to something a little bit harder. Of course, you know, it could... What, did you get the 3t equals negative 10? Do I need to make it bigger? Oh, no, no. Now I can see where you got Okay. I'm just like, did you? I, I, I didn't know how, how far you got. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to get to a little bit harder. Because now I don't have just one fraction on each side of my equal sign, okay? So now I have like three or more fractions. So um, still do not like to deal with fractions, right? You guys don't like fractions? So the easiest thing to do to get is, get, oh, is learn how to talk first, um, is to get rid of your fractions. So the easiest way to do that is to multiply by the common denominator. So we spent all day yesterday and the day before finding common denominators, right? Or maybe it was just yesterday. Um, but we're just going to multiply by the common denominator. So what's my common denominator between 10 and 15? What's the number they both go into? 30, good. So I'm going to take 30, and I'm going to multiply everything by 30, everything by 30, okay? So I'm going to take that 30 and I'm going to multiply it by everything. So I get 30x divided by 10 plus 30x divided by 15 equals 30. Now I'm going to say this because some of you guys won't need this step right here, but some of you will, okay? So if you can do it without this step, that is awesome, okay? But I'm going to write it out almost every time. There's a few times I won't because there's not enough space. I'm just going to be honest with you. But most of the time, I'm going to write out this step. Okay? So what is 30 divided by 10? Three. Great. Three X. Sorry. Sorry, Emma. Someone online answered. 30 X. 
And, oh, 3x, oh, my lanta. And what's 30 divided by 15? Two. Two. Look, no more fractions, right? If I multiply by the common denominator, I get rid of my fractions, and that's why we want to do that, because then we don't have them anymore. Okay, and now I just have a linear equation, which gives me um, 5x equals 30 divided by 5, and x is going to equal 6. And since I don't have any variables in my denominator, we're good to go on this one. Okay, questions on this? Are we okay at home so far? Okay, so let's do number two. What's my common denominator for number two? Six X, yep. Yeah. Remember, it's got to have everything in there, right? Six is for the numbers, and then I have to have the X for the one with the X there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to distribute it through everything. So I'm going to get, what am I going to get? Um, 12... X divided by 3 minus 6X divided by X equals 5 times 6X divided by 6. Just because I'm multiplying it doesn't mean I actually have to multiply the numbers together. And I'm doing this on purpose because one of the problems you have is some big numbers and you don't actually always have to multiply the numbers together, right? So now I'm going to simplify this and I should get um, 4X minus 6 equals 5x. Whew. So if I subtract 4x from both sides, I should get negative 6 equals x, and that doesn't put a 0 in my denominator. Questions on that? Are we okay on it? Not too bad, right? Yeah, wait, I, Go ahead. How do you get rid of the denominators Multiply by the common denominator, and then I simplify, right? 12 divided by 3 is oh, yeah. 4, and then the x's go away here, and then the 6's went away here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave that up there with those two so you can see both problems. And <laughs> it's usually how it is. Oh, I think on A, you mean? A is a, is a little tricky. So what's my common denominator? 15x, beautiful. So if I distribute this through, right, I get 12 times 15x divided by 15 minus 15x divided by 3x equals 4 times 15x divided by 5, right? So the 15s go away here, the x's go away here, 5 goes into 15 three times, 3 goes into 15 five times, yeah. So I should get 12x minus 5, oh, I should have, probably have an x there, huh, since I even said it and I didn't write it. 12x minus 5 equals 12x. Is that what you got there? Okay, so then I get to get my x's together, right? So I'm going to subtract 12x. Uh, because 3 times... Yeah. So it should be negative 5 equals 0. Is that true? Does negative 5 equal 0? No, negative 5 does not equal 0, right? There's no more x's. The x's are gone. Negative 5 doesn't equal 0, so there's just no solution. Okay? She's like, yep, negative 5 equals 0. <laughs> I know. Did you see me? I went. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's what the math says, negative 5 equals 0. It's okay. It happens all the time, honey. So. So yeah, don't forget about that X, right? So just got to make sure you have everything there. That's why I wasn't making sense to me, because like, shift the X equals something? Yeah, yep. Okay, so what is my common denominator for B? 8X, good. And I'm going to distribute 
I think I feel comfortable multiplying this one through. So I've got eight times four is 24 X divided by four minus eight X divided by X equals seven times eight X divided by eight, eight, eight. So four goes into 24 six times. The X's go away, eights go away. So I'm left with six X minus eight equals seven X, subtract six X, and X is gonna equal negative eight, doesn't make my denominator zero, so boom, there's my answer. Any questions, anybody? You guys doing okay so far? Okay. And because we spent so much time finding the common denominator, it's just multiplying by the common denominator, right? Okay, so now we're gonna get a little harder again, right? So the problem becomes, there's a little more in the denominator, right? So, okay, I lied. It's on the next page, there's a little more in the denominator. So sorry, uh, there's a little more in the numerator this time. So what's my common denominator between three, five, and nine? Yep, okay. 45, beautiful. So I'm gonna multiply by 45, I'm gonna distribute it through. So I'm gonna get 45 times x plus one divided by three, plus 45 times x minus four divided by five, equals 45 times two x divided by nine. And now we're gonna simplify it. So um, three goes into 45 15 times, that's right. And five goes into 45 nine times. And nine goes into 45 five times. So then if I distribute that through, right? Now I'm gonna distribute everything out. I get 15x plus 15 plus 9x minus 36 equals, equals what, 10x? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Whew. So let's see, what do we get? 9 plus 10 is 20, 20, 15 plus 9 is 24x. And then minus 21 equals 10x, subtract 24x, and I'm gonna get negative 21 equals negative 14x, yeah, that looks right. Divide by negative 14, and x is gonna equal, divide by seven, three halves. Questions? That one's okay too? Awesome. Oh, we do get a little harder. Okay, I was like, hold on. Didn't we get a little? I confused myself for a minute. Sorry, I didn't see number two. Whew. Okay, so I'm just going to factor this, uh, the denominator on my second side just really quick. So this factors to two times x minus one, right? So what is my common denominator? 10x. It's 10 is for sure. But it's 10 times, what's my other thing? Not just x. 2x. Nope, 2 is in 10. There's a 2 in 10, right? So I'm okay with that. X minus one. There you go. x minus 1. Questions on that? Okay, and now we do exactly the same thing as we've been doing, right? I'm going to distribute the whole thing through, and then I'm going to simplify it, and then there should be no more fractions. Okay, so if we do this, let me see if i got enough room here. So I'm going to have 3 times 10 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. 
plus 3 times 10 times x minus 1, oops, divided by 10, equals 5 times 10 times x minus 1, all divided by 2 times x minus 1. Okay, so let's make 1s. So I've got x minus 1 and x minus 1. I've got 10 and 10, x minus 1 and x minus 1. And 2 goes into 10 five times? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we're going to multiply stuff out and distribute and stuff, right? So 3 times 10 is 30, plus 3 times x is 3x minus 3 equals 25. I think that's all. 30, 3x minus 3, 25. Okay, so 3x um, plus 27 equals 25. Subtract 27. 3x equals negative 2. Divide by 3. And x is going to equal negative 2 thirds. It does not make a zero in my denominator. Questions? No? Okay, good. So, she yeah, had to wait and pause. Go ahead and um, here we go. So, my common denominator, we've kind of already talked about it a little bit, oh. is uh, 24. So, I'm going to multiply by 24. Hmm. So, I should get 24 times x minus 5 plus 20, oh, divided by 4, and 24 times x plus 6 divided by 6 equals 24 times 5x divided by 8. So 4 goes into 24 6 times, and 6 goes into 24 4 times, and 8 goes into 24 3 times. And then I'm going to distribute, so I get 6x minus 30 plus 4x plus 24 equals 15x. So 10x minus 6 equals 15x. Subtract 10x. And I'm going to get negative 6 equals 5x divided by 5. x is going to equal negative 6 fifths. And there's no next, no next, no x in the denominator to worry about. Okay. Questions? Okay, awesome. Once I get past this point right here, it's just solving for a, it's solving an equation, right? So my common denominator for B is, I think, 6T. 6T. So I've got 6T divided by 3T plus 6T divided by T equals 6T divided by 2. 6T. So 3T goes into 6T two times. T's go away. 2 goes into 6 three times. So I've got 2 plus 6 equals 3t, or 8 equals 3t. Divide by 3, t equals 8 thirds. If I put that in the denominator, I get 8. So good. I'm good. Totally good. Okay, questions? All right, now for the, for the biggies, for the big ones. Okay. 
what is my common denominator? Times? Yes, good. So I have to have x times x minus 2. So I have to have this one and I have to have that one. Okay? And since this one is already in that one, I don't need the other x, right? Okay. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to multiply everything by my common denominator. So I've got 50. I'm probably going to write a lot smaller here. Times x times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 minus 16x times x minus 2 all over x equals 30x times x minus 2 all over x. So let's make some ones. x minus 2 and x minus 2, x and x, x and x. Whew. And then I get 50x minus 16x plus 32, 32? Yeah, 32. Equals 30x minus 60. Whoo! So I'm gonna subtract 30x from both sides and subtract 32. So I should get, let's see, 50 minus 30 is 20. Minus 16 is 4x equals negative 92. Divide by 4. x is going to equal negative, let's see, 4 goes into 9 two times, the remainder one, 23, negative 23. Someone could check that with their calculator if they wanted to, but I think it's right. Ninety-two divided by four. Yep, 23, awesome. Okay, questions? Okay, awesome, you guys. At least I think it's awesome. Okay, now we've got really ugly. So I'm going to factor this, and I think this factors to, what does this factor to? X plus 4 and X minus 2. So my common denominator for this one is X minus 3 times X plus 4 times X minus 2. Okay, I can't write that out three different times and have it fit on my page, okay? So this is the one where we're going to kind of um, skip that second step or the first step. or We're not going to skip it. We're just not going to write it down, okay? So if I distribute this through to this one, which one will, not, which one will be canceled out of my, uh, canceled out of my fraction? Not the x plus 4, because once I cancel, what's, that's, that one still will be there, because what's in my denominator? The x plus 3 is in my denominator, right? So when I multiply this out, the x, plus, x minus 3 will not be there, right? So this one will be 3 times the x plus 4 times the x minus 2, okay? What's going to be canceled out of the second one? So we've got an x plus 4 in the second one. So what won't be in the second one is the x plus 4, right? So I'm going to get plus 5 times x minus 3 times x minus 2. And then because my denominator is this, for my last one, I'm going to get 5x times what's left. Uh, that, so x minus 3. So you can ask me questions. Go ahead if you don't understand what we did or what I did. Nice, Jess. Is everyone okay? All right, now I'm going to multi <gasps> now we're going to multiply this all out. Okay. By the way, I just want to say this, I don't think you have any like this on this hard this 
hard on your homework, okay? So I don't think that you do. So I've got three times um, x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 8 plus 5 times x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 equals 5x squared minus, minus 15x. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, that's as big as I can get it and still see it on the iPad. Sorry. Um, so I've got 3x squared minus 6x um, plus 12x minus 24 plus 5x squared minus 10x minus 15x plus 30 equals 5x squared minus 15x. Now I'm going to try and combine all the like terms on that one on the left side of my equal sign. So I'm going to, my like terms are going to be the 3x squared and the 5x squared. And then the x's, all the x's will be like terms. And then the constants will be the like terms. So I should have 8x squared. Uh, I should have 8x squared, and that is 6x squared minus 10 is negative 4, negative 19x. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, please do. Plus 6. So that's negative 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yep, that should be negative 19. Okay, equals 5x squared minus 15x. I need to get everything on the same side, the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 5x squared and add 15x squared and add 15x. So I'm going to have 3x squared minus 4x plus 6 equals 0. Oh, my lanta. Um, 3 and 1, 6 and 4. Oh, this is an ugly problem. Let me think. So I mean, is there two numbers that multiply to be 20? No, that's 18, and add to be negative 4. 9 and 2, 6 and 3, 3 are aren't. So there's only one way to solve this, and that's the quadratic formula. So if you guys do not remember what the quadratic formula is, I'm going to write it down. I'm pretty sure I made sure I chose problems that wouldn't be like this on your homework, just so you know. Or if I did, you only have one. Um, the quadratic formula says, what does it say? Let me think. <sighs> okay, x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So that means that a equals 3, B equals negative 4, and C equals 6. How much? We're, oh, good. We still have some space. So I've got X is going to equal minus a negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times A, which is 3 times C, which is 6, all divided by 2 times A, which is 3. 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 
minus 12 times 6 is 72, all divided by 6, plus or minus the square root of negative 16 minus 72, 56, divided by 6. Clear, square root. Um, 4 plus or, m plus or minus 2i root 14 divided by 6. You can simplify it one more, so it would be 2 plus or minus i root 14 divided by 3. Really ugly problem, and I'm pretty dang sure you're not going to have any like that on your homework. But you need to know that it can get like this. Okay, and I'm gonna also say this, there's none like this on your checkpoint. I absolutely know there's none like this on your checkpoint, okay? So it doesn't get like this on your checkpoint. And I don't think any of the rest of the problems are like this. But you just didn't need to see that it could get pretty complicated, okay? And it's probably been since your sophomore. No, we did quadratic formula this year, didn't we? I think we did. And we took a checkpoint on it. So, yeah, we've done quad we did quadratic formula this year. Okay, so I want... That's the only formula I ever remember. That's the only one. If, if your teacher made you learn it to a song, then it's pretty easy to remember. Yeah. yeah. He made us learn the pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. That's the first, that's the first one that it... But is it that difficult? I mean, it's complicated, right? But it's not, once you find the common denominator, it's not very, it's not that bad, right? And, and it's all about, really, you guys, it's really all, that's really all it's about is finding that common denominator. Once I find that common denominator, I'm just, it, there's no more fractions and it gets to be just a, just, you know, either a quadratic or a linear equation that you guys already know how to solve. So this is t times t minus 5, and I need to make this bigger so you guys can see it. Sorry. Okay. So I've got 60 t times t minus 5 divided by t minus 5 minus 18t times t minus 5 divided by t equals 40t times t minus 5 divided by t. So t minus 5, t minus 5, the t's, so 60t minus 18t plus, I think it's going to be 90, 80 times 5, yep, plus 90 equals 40t minus 200. Okay, subtract 40t, subtract 90, and that's 20 minus 18 is 2t equals negative 290 divided by 2. t is going to equal negative 145-ish. No, I think that's exactly... Negative 145. Sorry, I did the division in my head, so I think that's right. Okay. Whew. Let's hope number B is simpler than number 2 was. Oh, yeah, it will be. So this is going to be Y minus 5 and y minus 2. So my common denominator is y minus 5 and y minus 2. So when I distribute it through, I'm going to have 3 equals 2 times y minus 5 plus 1 times y minus 2. Questions? I can pause while you guys, if you have any questions on that one. Yeah, oh, she's probably already gone. Yeah. 
okay? And so I'm going to get 3 equals 2y minus 10 plus y minus 2, or 3 equals 3y minus 12. Add 12. 12. Y equals five. Can that does does that does that work? Here, honey. Does y equal five work with my equation? Thank you. Remember, what do we need to do? We need to check it with the original equation to make sure what? Does it doesn't make my denominator to zero. Does that make my denominator zero? Serena's back there. You can speak up. Yes, it does, because five minus five is what? Zero. So it makes this zero. So is this going to, so what's my real answer? No solution. Yeah. Okay. It's no solution. So that can't be. Nice job. How are you doing? Okay. We're doing good. Okay. So even, oh, this is the same equation. I need to really fix this. Okay, that's the same equation as we just got done doing. I really need to remember to fix that because I keep forgetting until we do this. So this is going to be x, and this is exactly the same thing as what we just got done doing, right? My common denominator is x minus 2 times x plus 2. So I distribute through, and I'm going to get x plus 3 times. Um, and which one do I need? I need the x minus 2 in the top. Minus x, because I don't need any of the denominator. They, well, they cancel out. And then I get x times x plus 2. Yes. Okay, so x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6 minus x equals x squared plus 2x. x squared plus, oh, hold on, x squared um, negative 2x plus 3x is x, minus x is 0. Um, minus 6 equals x squared plus 2x. So subtract x squared. x equals negative 3. Questions? You guys okay? And I don't think we'll worry. Oh, how many pages I've been doing? So um, don't worry about the last two. Um, the homework is on there in Delta Math. If you have questions, you guys can send me a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Even though. Don't, oh, I was like, how many pages do we like what we just have? Notes do we have? We're not going to worry about the last two. They're exact.